ありがとうございました。What is going on, guys? Ohio Pepe Gaming here, back with another My Hero Mania video for you guys. And today we're going to be looking at all of the legendary quirks that are in this game at the moment. So, right now, there are four legendary quirks half hot, half cold, one for all, cremation, and hell flame. And basically, what I'm going to do is showcase them for you. And we'll talk about which one is the best overall. Now, before we get into that, make sure you guys like. If you're new, subscribe, hit the notification bell, join my Discord. And if you guys want to play with me, make sure you cop one of those memberships. Now, as you can see, I do have one for all, but I'm actually going to save that one for last. And the way I'm going to determine which one is the best is basically by going into a raid by myself and trying to solo the impossible raid, see how far I get. And yeah, guys, with all of that said, let's get right into the first showcase. All right, guys, the first quirk we're going to be showcasing is going to be half hot, half cold. As you can see, our five moves are Freeze, Fire Blast, Ice Fire Boost, Ice Walls, and then Flash Freeze Heat Wave. Here's the Freeze. Fire Blast. Ice Fire Boost. That also freezes. Then we have Ice Walls. Bruh. That has a pretty long stun, so that's very useful. And then here is Flash Freeze. As you can see, really good AoE on that one. And honestly, the moves on Half Hot, Half Cold do have some pretty good damage, but it works best as a combo quirk. What I like to do is 5, 3, 4, 1, and then 2. That's the combo that I use, but there's a lot of combos that you can make up yourself. But yeah, 54312 works the best in my opinion. And yeah, let's go ahead and see how this does in a raid. All right, so like I said, this is more of a combo quirk, so I don't know how well we're gonna do in this raid at the impossible difficulty. But what I'm gonna do to keep this fair throughout all the quirks is I'm gonna group up all the enemies and basically see how far I can get with this strategy. Another thing about this is that it doesn't have ice skating. Half hot, half cold should always have ice skating. Bro, look at this. All right. Not only does it not go where you want it to go sometimes, it's also super slow. Oh, all right, guys. So half hot, half cold is honestly not going to do very well in raids, at least not when you're going to be soloing impossible difficulty raids. The damage output is just not enough for it to be good on its own. And there's a lot of quirks out there that are a lot better than this. But yeah, I'm really disappointed with uh, Half Hot, Half Cold. It is really nice and flashy and it does look really nice, but it just doesn't have enough damage to be anything more than like a PVP quirk. So yeah, this is definitely one of the lower tier legendary quirks in this game right now. All right guys, for the next quirk, I wanna thank my boy Duck for letting me use this account real quick. Uh, I've been trying for days to get the next two quirks. But it was just not working out for me, so I had to get some help. But yeah, guys, this is going to be the Hell Flame quirk. As you can see, once again, we got five moves. Uh, the first one is Jet Burn. Pretty nice. Next up, we have Vanishing Fist. 
Yes, so incinerate. Okay, yes. All right. Next one we have Hell Spider. This is probably one of my favorite moves. Bro, look at the range. The range on that is crazy. And then of course we have Prominence Burst. Bruh. Hellflame is too wild, bruh. Look at that. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna need uh I'm gonna need Hellflame on my account ASAP. Incinerate is crazy, bro. And when you pair it up with the uh, Ice Blade, it's just like a way better half hot, half cold. All right, so like before, we're gonna group everyone up and we're gonna go ahead and see how far we can get in this raid. All right, cake right there. That was a cakewalk. All right, so Prominence Burst is definitely going to be a risky ability since you stop moving when you use it, but it does do a lot of damage. Nice. Oh, wow. Like I was saying, it doesn't get that speed boost that we get with uh, Full Cowling, which is definitely needed in this. As you can see, every now and again, I do get caught up and get slapped in these groups, but nothing too crazy yet. Definitely do not use uh, prominence burst in raids. That almost got me killed. Oh, we missed one over here. Bruh, incinerate is such a cool looking move. Flame is definitely better than half I have cold right now. Very nice. All right, guys, so truthfully, I cannot blame Hellflame for that. That was all on me. We would have definitely smashed through that raid, bro. Hellflame is honestly really, really good. And it is one of the quirks with the nicer looking effects. So yeah, all around a really, really good quirk. Has good range, good damage, good effects. The only downfall it has is uh, Prominence Burst. It does take a little bit to actually activate the move and you stay still for that time. Hellflame is definitely up there right now. If it had a mode instead of the Vanishing Fist, I think that Hellflame would definitely be the top tier quirk in this game. But yeah guys, the next quirk I'm gonna be showcasing is the new legendary quirk, and that is going to be Cremation. All right guys, so like I said, the next quirk is going to be Cremation. This is actually the new legendary quirk that was added to the game 
when it reopened. And I had to get a little bit of help from my friend Emo here. Without him, I couldn't have done this uh, cremation showcase, so let's get right into it. All right, guys, once again, five moves. We have Flame Burst, Blue Embers, Wave of Fire, Blue Field, and Prominence Flash. All right, so here is Flame Burst. Nice. Here's Blue Embers. All right, I missed that one. That was my bad. That has some good range, though. I hit this guy by accident. Oh, and that cooldown was crazy. Bro, that cooldown was so low. Look how fast that cooldown goes. That range is hella nice, bro. Okay. All right, all right. Next one, uh, Wave of Fire. Ooh, okay. Blue field. The knockback is crazy though. Those particles are really nice. And then of course we have a prominence flash. Ooh, okay. Yo! Did that do half health and burn damage? Nah. There's no way, bro. Hold on, let me group these guys up and see uh how much damage prominence does. Alright, let's try that again. Yo! Ooh! Ooh, what? Bro, that does half their health. More, actually. Look, look how much damage that one did, bro. That does about 60%, bro. Hit him with that. Hit him with that. Bro, that is going to be the fastest I've killed these Nomus so far. I'm missing some of these moves, but that's on me. Yo, cremation might actually be the most OP quirk so far. All right, guys, so you know what we're doing already. I'm gonna group these guys up, see how fast we can uh, eliminate them and see how fast we can actually get this done. Oh yeah, yep. That's a one shot. Ooh. Yo, no way, bruh. Even blue embers was a one shot. In all honesty, the cooldowns alone make this quirk so good. The cooldown on Blue Embers is basically not even existent, man. Look at this. Hit him once. Have enough time to get away. Use it again. I'm hoping this doesn't end like Hellflame where I just kind of got distracted. All right, let's hit a Blue Field. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Don't use that. Don't use that. I'm gonna make sure we survive this time. Ooh, whoa, 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 chill. Chill, buddy. Oh, oh, chill. Nah, 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 nah. That was close. I don't know what happened there, but. And honestly, I feel like all these quirks should get it like a like a mode that does at least a speed boost. Oh, oh no 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 no. Oh no. Oh no. All right, guys. All right, guys. So cremation, honestly, the particles are really nice. All the moves look really really good. The damage output is insane. As you saw, it got the last NPCs to less than half health with one move. I don't think any of the other quirks are going to do that for you. Now, with all that said, we did manage to lose in the raid. And I think that's just a combination of not having enough speed and trying to talk and pay attention to everything that's going on while trying to group everyone up and all that stuff. But I am going to say that I do think cremation is better than Hellflame. However, two of the moves are going to leave you 
stationary for a couple seconds so take that into account and make sure you don't use those two moves when you're in a raid because if you're not moving you're extremely vulnerable all right guys now it's time for the quirk you've all been waiting for one for all as you can see we have our five moves texas smash delaware smash super jump detroit smash and full cowling now until you get full cowling one for all isn't all that good but as soon as you get full cowling bro it changes the whole dynamic of the game full cowling is going to give you around 400 extra hp it's going to boost your attack and it's going to boost your speed the only thing is that it does take away your energy so make sure you are putting some stat points into energy so you don't run out super quickly all right guys so here is texas smash as you can see guys that is awesome i love the way that all the buildings collapse in this game next one we have is delaware smash as you can see the animation is pretty dope right there then we shoot it out the next one is super jump this is just a way to get out of a sticky situation i guess doesn't cause any damage or anything like that but looks pretty cool next one we have is detroit smash here's what that looks like And then of course we have our full cowling. As you can see our health went from almost 350 to 777. So a pretty significant change in health right there. We are a lot faster as you can see. And although I didn't show you guys my strength before this, my damage goes up by 10 points. All right, so let's use our attacks one more time just to re-showcase them with our full cowling on. As you can see, it's a lot easier to get away from your opponent when you have full calling on because of the speed boost. But yeah, here's our Texas Smash. Looks dope, bro. Here's the Delaware Smash. Yes, sir. And our Detroit Smash. I can't even describe how cool that was, bro. Like, the moves in this game are honestly so good. you guys see that the damage on that the range the effects everything about that is so cool all right so like before we're going to be doing this on impossible and we're going to see how far we get let's turn our full cowling on and let's get to work we're going to group all these guys up and if you're going to be using uh ofa with full calling and raids make sure you turn your full calling off at the end of every wave just so we can refresh your uh energy Nice. Oh, that was that was so close, bro. That was a oh my god. All right, that was really bad. <laughs> All right, but that was my fault for uh, doing it so close up. Yeah, that's a lot better. 
The choice match is always a risky one, but it gets the job done for the most part. Okay, okay, okay. That was a really close one there. Oh man, this might be it, guys. This might be it. I turn my full calling off. Try to regain some energy. They're right behind me, though. All right, we're good to go. We're good to go. Dash away. All right, we're down to the boss. And as we know, the boss isn't really all that hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. what happened there? All right, let's finish them off. Nice, okay. All right, so in my previous video, I said that OFA was not good for raids because of how slow it was. But honestly, once you get full cowling, it's a beast in raids. You can group them all up and absolutely go crazy on them. If you don't have full cowling, it's gonna be pretty hard because you don't have that speed boost to get away from your opponents and you need that in order to group them up and be able to kill them successfully. And yeah, thoroughly impressed with OFA. It did a lot better than I thought it would and, and although we did have two hiccups, not bad at all considering there's 10 waves and we absolutely shredded right through them. All right guys, so those were all of the legendary quirks that are currently in the game right now. And to my surprise, one for all is probably gonna be the best legendary quirk when it comes to raids and the reason i say this is because of full cowling with full cowling you're gonna get extra hp and you're gonna get a huge speed boost as well as an attack boost but that speed boost is what sets this apart from all of the other quirks in the raid what you need the most is speed especially when you group them up the way i did you need to get away from them as fast as possible and it's just not something that's going to happen with cremation or with hell flame at least with Have Hot, Have Cold, you can use your glide move to put some distance between you and the NPCs, but it's still not as good as Full Cowling's uh, speed boost. So yeah, if I had to rank these legendary quirks, I would put One For All first, Hell Flame second, Cremation third, and Have Hot, Have Cold has to be the bottom tier legendary quirk. And this goes for the raids, but if we're talking overall gameplay, I would probably put Cremation at the top since it has incredible damage output, super good range, and some pretty good comboing capabilities. The reason that One For All is not at the top when it comes to overall gameplay is because you need full cowling, and that's not something you get until level 80 mastery. You also need like 40,000 yen in game, so in order for the quirk to be as good as it is, you need to max it out first. With cremation, that's not the case. You get good moves from the start, you get really good damage output, in third place, I would put Hellflame and then Half Hot, Half Cold. I just don't think it's good unless it's comboed. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought was the best quirk. Let me know if I'm wrong. And if you think there's a quirk that's better than the legendary quirks, let me know that as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, huge shout out to Duck and Emmo for letting me showcase Hellflame and Cremation for you guys. 
And yeah, guys, don't forget to like, if you subscribe, hit the notification bell, join my Discord, and don't sleep on those memberships. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next one.